and they're just exactly like the baby's onesies. It just wasn't practical. Prevented my night scratches when I did my nails the other day. Wherever you go, there will be flakes. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Remy and I'm going through a skin condition called topical steroid withdrawal from stopping the steroid creams I've been using for over 20 years for my eczema. So today I wanted to show you guys the things that I bought through TSW to help me get through it and I will be sharing my honest reviews. So there are um, quite a few things I, I want to show you guys. So first up, these mittens, I guess they're called mittens. They're massive mittens and they're really thick and cushioned. So these are a medical grade mittens to wear to stop you from scratching during the night while you're sleeping. And because they were like a proper medical grade one, it was really expensive. So basically you put your hands in them like so and you put the belt around it so yeah the reason i bought this was because i would scratch so badly in my sleep and at the time i didn't have my nails done i just had my natural nails but cut really short and whenever i scratched my skin it would cause a lot of damage and i would wake up with so many scratches and like blood all over my bed sheets and it was so frustrating because uh, my skin would improve so much during the day and then at night i would just scratch them off so yeah i was looking for solutions and i tried just like the regular cotton gloves and still i would like rub my skin with the gloves on so it didn't really do much and then I came across these and I thought it would be worth investing in it. But I used it for like two, three times and I just stopped using them because they're not very comfortable. And I ended up like taking them off during my sleep. And I found that my hands would become really like, how would I say it? It would become really like humid inside the gloves. And because I'm doing no moisture treatment, that moisture like caused the itch. So then my hands got itchy and it just wasn't practical. And I couldn't sleep very well because of how uncomfortable they were. So that's my honest review. Like I wouldn't buy them. I don't know, like everyone's different. It's just my personal opinion, but it didn't work for me, sadly. And another one that I bought to prevent nighttime scratching are these pajamas I guess they I had the bottoms I don't know where they went they have the arms covered like the baby's pajamas so your hands and fingers are all covered and when you wear them you can also like flip them so that your hands do come out so they're just exactly like the baby's onesies and the pants did the same as well and these were made for people with eczema to prevent scratches during the night and again same thing like it, because everything was trapped inside it made my skin more itchy um but please be aware that this is just my personal opinion and these are the materials bamboo but i really just prefer just 100 percent cotton material it doesn't irritate my skin at all so i just ended up wearing my normal pajama t-shirts that were 100% cotton and they were like a lot more breathable because my arms were out and yeah and at the end what prevented my night scratches were getting my nails done so that's like the main thing that helped me and also i'm not as itchy as i was before just because my skin's improved and it's not like crazy itchy anymore i did my nails the other day oh, they're so cute yeah okay so next up these bandages and like gauze and like elastic tubular bandages so these are all to cover up my arms before i go to bed and sorry this is a bit dirty because i use them every night so i just wrap this around my arms and go over it with this bandage and then on top of that i secure it with the tubular bandage now this I bought so many because I didn't know what size to get and because these are used to compress the arm or legs or whatever, they're made um, really like tight. I first bought the medium-ish size for the arms but they were too 
tight to sleep in like my hands would go numb because it would stop the blood flow especially because i was wearing them over the bandages so i suggest you buy the ones for your legs and they just fit perfectly yeah so that's that also get yourselves some like cloth like gauze cloths I don't know if they're called that, but they're like really gentle and I use them for everything. I wrap the ice pack with this to use when I'm itchy and I always have another cloth around me when I go to sleep so that whenever my skin oozes, I can pat it dry. And with no moisture treatment, it is recommended to just keep the the ooziness on your skin because it will dry up and act as a scab and it helps heal the skin so i try and keep it on but when it gets too easy and it's like dripping down that's just too much so i like pat it dry yeah and another thing this isn't something i bought but i just wanted to share this because i use it every night um it's a beach towel, but I use this to lay it on my bed sheets when I go to sleep so that my flakes can fall onto it. And I just feel comfortable sleeping on a towel and knowing that my flakes are all fall falling onto it instead of my bed sheets. And that brings me to a good vacuum cleaner. Honestly, invest in yourself in a good vacuum cleaner this is the dyson um, vacuum cleaner and if you can afford it i suggest you get the small one and the big one my big vacuum cleaner is um, by shark when our last vacuum cleaner broke we did a lot of research um, and got the one with like a special filter so that all the dust doesn't go out the other end and i think it's really important to buy a good vacuum cleaner because dust can trigger like flares and like some people can be allergic to it so i suggest looking into that and what i love about these small ones is that because you're flaking a lot wherever you go there will be flakes and my dining chairs are black right so you can really see the flakes so when i get up i just like quickly vacuum it with the little vacuum cleaner and yeah so i've been using it a lot so that was my honest review on some of the things i bought during tsw and i hope that this was helpful for you guys and if you have something that you've bought during tsw or a skin condition that you found really helpful or not helpful um Drop them down below. I want to read them. So make sure you do that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.